I'm going to try to give you a brief or fairly brief uh, verbal example of how to how I put on the headband for the Sennheiser HD 380 Pro because it's not like the 280, it's not like the 500s or whatever other YouTube video that I could personally find on how to put on the headband or the earphones. Um, I had to replace both of them. Um, they, look, they look brand new, they work just like they did before, turned out to work out perfectly. What I have in my hand right now when you, is the, it's called a stopper. When you get the head pad, the headset pad, um, it comes with two stoppers, so don't worry about when you pry it off. Don't worry about scratching or anything because you get two new ones that you can put on. Um, I'm just, I know this is really terrible, like visually, because I've obviously already done it, but I hope it helps out a little bit, man, because I couldn't find anything, and I, I, don't, I wish I could have found someone to try to explain this to me. So anyway, I took a, a flathead screwdriver, and I didn't touch the actual plastic headband or the uh, part that's connected to the ear, um, the ear pads or anything. I, I just went from the head foam, the head pad foam, and I got underneath the stopper and I just pried it up. Um, it took me a minute to do it. I thought I was, you know, I thought I was going to break it. I was a little worried. Um, it just kind of bends out because it is a stopper. It just clicks into place, and it's really not meant to slide out or anything. So you kind of do have to, at least in my opinion, you do have to, like, pry the thing out. But like I said, you get a new one. You can just, I'll show you in a second how to pop it back in. The very, very important piece of putting these things in is what I'm trying to show you. The lighting was, um, wasn't very good, so that's why it's kind of taking me a minute to, like, wiggle it around. I really want you to see that little metal piece that's shining right now on the inside where the stopper was, that is your, um, like the, the size clicker, whatever you want to call it. it. It's what latches in to each size position that you set the headset to. Um, there's, it, there's a spot on, e on the left and the right side of each of the headsets. Um, I only found one little metal piece. Maybe the other one fell out on both sides when I did it, but I've looked everywhere. I can't find it. One of them works just fine, so don't worry about it. Um, as long as you have one, you're good to go. So when I did this, uh, you, I was really careful. And um, when I, it, it took, it takes a minute to, to get a, that little metal piece back into place but just make sure the um, it kind of points up in the middle where it latches onto, and that's the point you want facing. As you can see, you know, it dips in. You're going to want that piece facing towards the, la like the little grooves inside the headband. Trust me, when you take it apart, you'll see it. You'll know what I'm talking about, um, and it'll, it'll make that sound. If you try to put this thing together and it doesn't make that sound, it's not in right, it's not positioned right. So just start, just um, take the metal piece out, wiggle it around, make sure it's in flush with the track of the headset. And um, it took me a couple times. I thought something was wrong. It like wasn't going in right. And finally I got it flush with the headset and it went in correctly. Um, this thing I'm just showing you how to put in the stopper since it's obviously the last piece of the puzzle, which I apologize again. I wish I could have showed you the whole thing. But um, even this thing, I thought it was supposed to slide in. It doesn't. You push in on one side, it kind of clicks in. And on the other side, I pushed it in, which you'll be able to hear it in a second. And then I kind of almost pulled back on the headset just ever so slightly. You probably don't even really have to. You could probably just shove it in. But all right. Yeah, so you can hear it click in. So um, I literally just, you know, you just shove it in towards itself and uh, it'll pop into place. Um, I'm going to pause for a second because this next part is just showing you you know, how it's supposed to, obviously it's functioning just like it should. And yeah, so this next part, 
I'm about to do, uh, I really should have just left this out of the clip so it's not as long, but I'm just literally going to plug in the uh, cable into the headset. And I just wanted, I get, apparently at the time I wanted to show you how to do that. I didn't feel like editing it out. But um, at the end of this video or towards the end, I'm also going to briefly explain how I did the ear pads. So I don't have enough time to explain it before I go back to telling you about the headband part, um, about installing it. So, because this, I'm about to cut to the other part in a second. So, all right. Apparently, I was having some trouble with it. Now you just plug it in from the side push it in. I was like looking at it through the camera, so it's kind of annoying to put in, so sorry about that. Anyway, here we go. All right. So when you put in the, when you put in take out the old raggedy head headband that you're trying to replace, you're going to slide it out and you're going to put it through there where I'm pointing. You're going to slide it through there. And you're gonna when you get the new one, um, you're gonna put it back in through there. So I took out each side because when you take out the headband, each side of the headphones come a, come apart. Just be careful because there's obviously a wire that's connected to each of the headphones. Make sure you don't pull them apart too much and they break. Um, it does seem mine seem pretty solid, so hopefully yours are too. But I did one side at a time, making sure that that little metal piece was uh, was positioned correctly inside of the headphones. Because if you don't get it positioned correctly, it's not going to make that latching sound like it's doing right now, or the clicking sound. And um, that means that it's it's offset. It's it's not on track with the uh, with the headband. And I don't it. It doesn't necessarily have to do with the metal piece unless you just really didn't place it in right or sometimes it comes off um, when you try to slide it in so just make sure it's in there. If you don't hear that latching sound it's not in there and do it over again until the latching sound you can hear the latching sound because that means you didn't do it right. And um, yeah, other than that here's the, uh, here's the code for it. Um, I know this is like really a terrible video of how to how to do this thing because it's already done but if you have any questions um, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to explain everything the best I can quick overview about the headphones or the head or the ear pads when you do the ear pad or when I did the ear pads um, the first one came off perfectly you just I just pulled it off on one side you know like I just grabbed pinched it pulled it off um, and it came off great. When you get the new ones, though, you notice that there's a hard, um, not a h super hard, but there's kind of like a, a semi-hard plastic piece on the part on the um, on the face side that connects with the actual head set. So when I took off the other side, um, when I took off the other side of the ear pads, I was I wanted to replace. I didn't realize that the plastic piece stuck to the headset and at first I was like what the heck's you know what the heck happened is this thing not the right size or something or whatever just make sure that pl the, the hard plastic piece comes off um, you'll you'll notice it if if it doesn't go on right or something or if you see like an, an, an extra lip around it um, don't just go trying to pry stuff off um, but if it if it doesn't sn if the new head pads earphone pads don't click into place, um, that's probably what it is. Just make sure when you take off the old ones, it's that hard piece is still on it, and um, that means you're good to go with the new ones to click it on with the new ones. I literally just uh, I started on one side and just clicked my way around it. I think there is a video online that shows you how to do that, so. Um, or I, I think it might have even been with a different uh, different HD Pro. I don't think it was exactly the 380, but it was similar, and it helped me through it. Um, I'll try to find it and leave it in the comment or post the uh, link to it and try to help you guys out. Again, I apologize this wasn't the greatest video, but hope, hopefully it helped you guys out a little bit. All right, good luck.